Welcome to Liquid Automation's Tips and Tricks video series. Today we're going to go over some different options in SysMax Studio that can make programming easier. If you aren't familiar with SysMax Studio, it's Omron's development software for their NJNX platform. Go ahead and open any project, go to Tools and Option. The first option we have available is to change the color theme. We could do gray as shown or white. Uh, just a note here, there are some settings that if you do change them, you have to completely close SysMax Studio to see the change. So changing the default color is one of those settings. Under project settings, we can change the default name of the author. Window settings is going to allow you to pick the maximum number of tabs you have open in the edit pane, which is this square here. We recommend that you keep it around 10 because the more you have open, uh, the slower SysMax Studio tends to run. Ladder editor is gonna let you customize how your ladder editor looks. Uh, so the one thing we do recommend is that you make your ladder background color online, something other than white. It's just a good visual indication that you're online. ST editor is very similar. ST means structured text. So this will let you change the different settings for your structured text editor. Here I have the same thing. I have my ST background online color so to something different than white. HMI is gonna let you make some changes that'll make it easier to program an Omron HMI. So we wanna make sure that we have this mapping changed to auto. So this means that it's automatically gonna map the variables from the CPU to the HMI. And we want to do it without device name. This just keeps the variable shorter because when we do it with the device name, we have the device name underscore the variable and it can be just very long and tedious to work with. HMI code editor is going to allow you to change the different colors of your code editing. HMI page editor is similar. You can change how the page looks when you edit it. Program check build. We recommend that you keep all of these checked. Uh, it's going to allow SysMax Studio to automatically look for the duplicate use of an output, duplicate use of a function block. This can be helpful because sometimes you make these errors and you don't realize it and you know it can be challenging to figure out what's wrong in your code. Now the program check build is something that bothers some people because if you go in your ladder editor and you add a coil, you'll notice that before you get that variable name in there, you'll get a red exclamation point under uh, your program. And that just means that it's constantly checking and building your program for errors. This can save you a lot of time because it's happening in the background constantly. So whenever you are ready to go online, your program's probably already built. Variables, here we can just change the initial value setting, how that looks. And then we can also change what happens to variables when we edit the name in the variable table. This is not a default setting. So if you want to change a name in the variable table and it changes it in all of your programs, you're gonna to wanna to come in here and select change the variable name used in programs. Parameter editor, this is for drives, so motion. Uh, I would leave all of these unchecked. Normally, once you have a drive set up and the parameters are set up, you do not want them to be updated. If you change something in the program, you know, you're just looking at different parameters, this will automatically change them if you have it checked. So I would recommend leaving them unchecked. Synchronization, this is what happens when you go to controller and synchronize, and it's comparing the project on the CPU to the project that you're programming. Safety, we have a couple different settings in here. One is that the function block reference is just where you're pointing to to look at your function blocks and it's probably already set up for you. And there's just some other settings in here that you can take a look at and figure out what would work best for your safety program. Hopefully this was instructive for you and if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at technical at liquidautomation.com. Thanks.